Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. Good morning. It's Friday, February 8th. I'm Anne Marie LaFlame, and today we remember the life and service of former Congressman John Dingle. He passed away in his home in Dearborn last night. Dingle became a congressman in 1955, and he retired in 2015 after nearly 60 years in the House. Congressman John Dingle was 92 years old. Well, renting out a home without a license could soon lead to jail time in Warren. Mayor Jim Fouts says he wants to crack down on unlicensed landlords because he says many of them aren't following the rules. Fouts says he wants some violations to be a misdemeanor. Now the city council will consider his proposal at its next meeting, which is on Tuesday. Board members at Michigan State University say they're taking a step forward in the search for a new school president. Trustee Diane Byram, a co-chair of the search committee, said in a statement, quote, during the past two months, we have begun to accept applications for many interested candidates. We are pleased to report that the pool of candidates being assembled for consideration is diverse and includes individuals that demonstrated accomplishments and experiences and who hold high level leadership positions. Now, board members appointed Dr. Satish Udpa as the interim president to replace John Engler last month. Let's check in now with 7 First Alert meteorologist Kevin Jeans. It is cold and windy out there, Kev. Yeah, it is going to stay windy through the rest of this afternoon. Temperatures in the upper teens and around 20 degrees, but it's going to feel like it's closer to zero through the rest of the day today. Tonight, 8 degrees for the low, single digit temperatures. Wind chills be around minus 5 by tomorrow morning. Winds a little lighter tonight, 10 to 20 miles per hour, but it's still breezy and cold tonight. Mostly sunny at least tomorrow with a high of 24 could see light to moderate snow showers developing Sunday afternoon. About an inch of snow possible by Sunday night. Sunday will have highs around 31. All right, Kevin, thank you. Secretary of State's office is planning upgrades to its current vehicle recording system. The new CARS E system will update records in real time, and that should lead to shorter wait times. Now you'll be able to order and renew license plates and recreation passports online and through kiosks, whatever makes those lines shorter. Well, those are your headlines from 7 Action News. Don't forget, you can get the news anytime at WXYZ.com and the 7 Action News app. I'm Anne Marie LaFlame. Have a great day. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you.